Hello, welcome to Math with Niall. Today we're doing addition in column method. Hi Niall, yes, we'll be looking at addition again using the column method. Can you look at the first question and can you tell us what it says? It says 23 plus 71. 23 plus 71 and 23, can you explain the number 23? If you had Two tens and three units. Or Very ones. good. Two tens and three units or we can say ones. Yeah. When you say two tens, what does that mean? Twenty. Twenty. Okay, and what about the seventy-one? Seven tens and one one. One one or one unit. Okay, and the seven tens is equal to? Seventy. Because seven, lots of ten, is equal to seventy. Yeah. So when we're doing addition column method, we have to add the columns. Where yeah. do we start? Always at units. Always with units. So can you add the units columns and tell us? Use the um, magnetic numbers. Okay. 3 plus 1 equals 4. Okay, so you add the units. 3 plus 1 equals 4. And what are you going to do now? 2 plus 7. Good, equals? Um, 2 plus 7 equals... Eight, no, nine. Nine, look down to the other end of the board. Ah, nine. Okay, good. Can we discuss that two plus seven? Yeah. We really added two lots of tens, which is twenty. Yeah. Plus seventy. Plus seventy. And twenty plus seventy equals. 90. 90. So our final answer, 94, has 9 lots of 10s, which is 90, and 4 units. Yep. Okay, so can you do the second question for me? 8 plus 4. 8 plus 4 equals 12. 8 plus 4 equals 12. So... Let's discuss this number 12. Can you write the number 12 on the board so we can have a look at it somewhere below? We can't see, step to the side, yeah. Okay, so eight plus four is equal to 12. But if I say to you, we can only put one number under the eight and the four, what do I put? The two. Why? Uh, I don't know. What's, what column is that? The 8 and the 4 comes under what column? The units? Oh the yeah, tens? unit. The unit. And in the number 12, can you tell me the value of the 1 and the 2 in the number 12? 1, 10 and 2 ones. 1, 10 and 2 ones. Can we choose if we're going to say ones or units? Just so we're saying the same thing. Units. Right. units. So number 12 has one ten and two units. Yeah. So Niall, the tens has to go in the tens column and the units has to go in the units column. So what do we put in the units column? So we just put a two here. Okay, good. But we have that one ten. So what do we do? We put a one here. Okay, so we have a one ten joining the other tens. Yeah. Very good. Yes, you can rub that off. Okay, so you put one ten over there. So what are you going to do now? Now, I'm going to add these three all together. Add all the tens together. Yes. So five, six, seven, ten. So 72. Okay, right, you're 72. Very good. Okay, so we're on to 92 plus 76. So what are you going to do? 2 plus 6 equals 8. Okay. If you can count in twos. 8. And 9 plus 7 equals 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16. So can you write the 16 down underneath? One. We can't see. One. Good. So what do you think, based on the question that we've done before, what are you going to do with the 16? 
I'm going to put a six here. You're going to put a six there, and that six is six what? Six tens. Six tens. So you put the sixteen, the six under the seven. What do you think happens to that one? It goes here. It will go over to the next bit. And what do you think, what column is that going to be? Hundreds. Hundreds. And do you know why we end up with the hundreds? Because 9 plus 7. So if you did 9 plus 7, it would go over 10. But yes. if you did 90 plus 70, it would go over 100. Very good. So what is 90 plus 70? Can you count in your on your fingers? 90. A hundred, a hundred and ten, a hundred and twenty, a hundred and thirty, a hundred and forty, hundred and fifty, a hundred and sixty. A hundred and sixty. So that's why we end up having the hundreds. hundreds. So we have a hundred and sixty-eight. Very good. Okay, let's try this one. That one. Can you? Two hundred and eighty plus. 319. Okay, so what are you going to do? 0 plus 9 equals 9. Yes. 8 plus 1 equals 9. 2 plus 3 equals 5. Okay, so that one was quite easy. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to do two more questions. Can you tell us the first question that we're going to do? 348 plus 536. Okay, so where are you going to start? Do units. Okay. So, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14. So what are you going to do with the 14? Because you have two digits and you're adding one mm. column. Can you stand to the side so we can see while you explain? I'm going to write a 4 here. Good. And then I'll put one here yes that's good so we're going to carry over the one because we yeah. have four units and one ten very good so what are we going to do now so we're going to we're going to so that's we're going to plus all three of these numbers what column is that that's the tens column so what's what's the actual value of those numbers that you're going to add now so that's 40 and 3 and 10. So 40 and? And 30 and 10. Okay, good. So add the column, add it together and tell us what you get. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yes. So 7, 8. Okay, good. Side to the side. 8, 8. and 3 plus 5 equals 8. 884. 884. Okay, great. Right, let's look at the last, the other question. What are you going to do for that one? <laughs> Six plus eight. Eight, nine, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen. So good. So what are you going to oh, do? Oh look, we have the same. Eight plus six. Oh, six yes. plus eight. So fourteen. Fourteen, good. one. Good. And then. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen. You you forgot something. What two numbers did you add together there? Nine and seven. Okay. So nine, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen. And what else do you need to add in? Aha! Uh -huh. 17. Show us where you got the 17. Good. So 9 plus 7, let's point at the numbers. 9 plus 7 is 16, plus 1 is 17. So what are you going to do with that 17 now? Um, I'm going to add another 1 here. And where does the 7 go? Okay, so you write the 7. And, and then 1 plus 4 equals 5, so 7. That is not correct. Huh? You have to take your time. 
What did you do six, wrong? Six, six, six. One plus five equals six. Okay. Six hundred and seventy-four. Six hundred and seventy-four. Very good. And that comes to the end of the lesson. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, subscribe now. Bye. Bye.